Welcome to the Pet Stop. I'm Dr. Brian Boynick. Well, our furry friends can provide joy to our lives and put smiles on our faces, but some can also put their keen senses to work. And last week we learned how Roscoe the bed bug dog is trained to sniff out those pesky insects. Well, today we see this special pooch in action. So here today is Kevin McPhee, and he's with the Bell Environmental Services. Great to have you on again. Great to be here. Thanks. He's always a celebrity when he comes he to is. the studio. Yes, he is. Why are dogs so specially, uh, uh, you know, trained, or how can they detect these bugs so easily? Well, they, for one, they smell in parts per trillion. It's unbelievable. So yeah, as opposed to us, we smell, we smell in parts per thousand. Yeah, yeah. So you know, they like to make the analogy: if you're baking a cake. You know, you walk in and you smell either chocolate or vanilla, whereas uh -huh. the dogs, they'll smell every ingredient that goes into it. It's amazing. Yeah. Okay. Well, Let's give go. us a demo. What have we got here, Kevin? All right. Well, what we have here is our basic training tool. It's a, a training wheel. Mm -hmm. um, we have six containers here. Not yet, buddy. <laughs> He's um, anxious. Yes, he is. We'll have distractors here. Like, we'll have carpet beetles. Mm -hmm. um, here's coffee grinds, um, car more carpet beetles. And, uh, you know, basically just give it a spin. Right. And uh, he finds the bugs. Okay, right, let's, go. let's you ready see. To go to work? Let's go, baby. Do your Search. work there, buddy. He's checking them all, Kevin. And he's got it. Show me. Show me. And you know when he's when he alerts and he's pointing the source. Uh huh. So. Oh boy. Let's That's go. it. That's it. Let's give it another spin. Come on, Bubba. Let's go. Search. Oh boy. That's a piece of cake for Show him, me. isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty. Good. <laughs> Show me. And he's in the double digits oh, now. He's a ten-year-old. Yes, he is. Amazing. Yeah, so he's been in the field for seven, half, probably eight years now. We got yeah. it when he was uh, two. He not only does work in New Jersey, but a lot in New York City New as York well. New York City, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're in New York City a lot. So, so people are transporters, aren't they? They are. Of these bed bugs. They are, yes. Okay, so we so, want to be proactive and get this infestation uh, known about early and not yes, late. Sir. Yeah. Wait, amazing. And he's very food motivated. That helps. <laughs> yeah, he sure is. <laughs> that's, that's great. That's too easy, okay. buddy. Okay. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Roscoe. Okay. Great Thank to you. have you on. Thanks for having us. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay. Here's what we've got in store for you tomorrow. And remember, you can always catch the Pet Stop every Saturday and Sunday. That's 45 minutes past the hour, all starting at 6.45 a.m. And for more information on anything about today's show or past shows, just log on to our website, news12.com, click on Features, and scroll down to the Pet Stop. You'll find all the information that you need right there.